Campag, they are ditching the thing that I absolutely love about Campag. They're going to get rid of the thumb shifters and are going wireless. I guess that would just be replaced by buttons in that case. But you also love wireless shifting. That or you true. love electric shifting, yeah. which we discovered in the video the other day, mm. as we all do. It's a 12-speed, super record, wireless group set, and it's going to cost... Are you ready for this? I can see it on my screen. It's, that is a shame it's battle, isn't it? Expensively expensive. I mean, Campag have always had the most expensive group set for a long time, and now they are still the most expensive. £4,200. No. £4,500. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I've had questions in the comments before about, there are quite a few people pointing it out that we don't ever have any Campag on the channel. Right. And people were speculating whether it's like, is it a sponsored thing? Is it because we're, you know, in cahoots with SRAM and Shimano? And like, I used to be sponsored by Shimano years ago, like four years ago. Since then, no connection whatsoever. But we still only have SRAM and Shimano on the channel because it's on everybody's bikes. I haven't come across anyone except for James Thomas, because I think he had Campag on his old steel custom built frame. Like Autumn Frameworks, made by a guy called Trevor. Oh, they're amazing. Really cool. I met him once at Yeah, spoke. And he had uh, some Campag on there, but he took it off when we ended up doing a big ride on it because he wasn't confident that he could get replacement parts. Yeah. So that goes to show how few bits of Campag there are. I would love to have some Campag on the channel. Anyone's listening from Campag? <laughs> Test. Are we we're not going to buy that, are we? No. <laughs> is it, is Even it, 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 special it, trade prizes are going to be expensive. It would be great to see what that's like against a SRAM Red group set, which is about a grand cheaper, mm. which we actually made a video of recently. And I like the and even then it felt like you know three thousand, three and a half thousand pounds for a group set was like in just, just wild. And then that's a grand again. But I guess the interesting thing from our perspective as video makers is that's going to make it very easy for us to get to like a £20,000 bike. Because we love putting together really expensive bikes. Well, I'm not even saying that we would, we would like buy it and build it, but we, like it would be pretty cool to ride a £20,000 bike and be like, is this worth £20,000? Well, I already know the answer. The answer is no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it would be, be cool. quite cool. I think it's it? good. Like they definitely, they, for the move to, from my understanding, from their move to electric, they were always a little bit behind the curve, whether it's because of patents or whatever. They, they had to have cables running all the way through the frame still, like wires running all, all the way through the frame still. Like and the ports, well, Shimano's like semi, isn't it? Semi-wireless. Goes in between the chain states. Still lots of cables. Campag had all of them, and the ports, the, the, the end of the cable was quite big. So it's what Nick was moaning about um, before. They don't fit through the holes of frames very well. And it just didn't, it wasn't quite as good as the SRAM and Shimano offerings. However, it had its benefits. Campag wears in, bro, you know, Shimano wears out, all of that stuff. It looks really nice. People were gonna buy it for their Italian bikes. There's always gonna be a market, a smaller market for it, but I think they were doing all right. And clearly, you know, perhaps this will be uh, a thing which trickles down to their cheaper group sets. Then are they just doing super record, do you know? So it looks like super record wireless is going to replace the existing super record EPS. Yeah. And I think it's going to be disc only. Okay. Which so that's in line with Shimano as well for the top end group sets. Actually, yeah, every, that, and the same with SRAM, isn't it? Oh, actually, no, you can't. No, you can't get. It. You can get SRAM. Uh, I got Force rim brake. Yeah. I think there's a SRAM Red rim brake at the moment. But the new Force, the one you filmed, the release of. That's. Disc only. Disc only, yeah. really? Okay. So I've got the well, last I, version of... Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. it is. I think Don't quote me on that. That's <laughs> possible speculation. speculation. <laughs> we uh, just come up with a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's de it's, uh, there's definitely some kind of movement happening right now from manufacturers. Like, rim brakes are legit being filtered out. I don't know if that's one we want to cover for another time, because that's, that's, a, that's a, a big conversation, I think. But... What this does suggest is manufacturers are clearly starting to think about disc brakes only. Mm -hmm. 